Hey, what's up guys? Rules for Rubbles here. Wanted to talk briefly about Amazon merch. So uh, I did a video the other day, I think it was yesterday, uh, talking about my Amazon merch numbers and what I'm doing and just some strategies and things like that. And Kinetic Energy had actually mentioned uh, a pretty cool uh, Chrome uh, browser add-on that you can get. Uh, the name of it is slipping my mind right now. I'll drop a link to it in the description box below. Um, it's actually like a Orca Whale or Killer Whale or whatever. Um, as the logo, but basically what you can do is pull the entire history of your Amazon merch sales in one click. As opposed to one complaint that I had about Amazon merch before was that you could only pull 30 days at a time. So if you want to look at your last year of sales, you got to pull 30 days at a time and pull 12 different reports. So I haven't played around with this app too much, but it gives you some like graphs and charts of like last year's sales for December over this year's sales for December. Uh, and lets you do kind of a lot of cool stuff. So I'll link to that one below. Uh, what I really kind of wanted to talk about this morning was using two different niches um, as a way to kind of get around some of the competition. So what I mean by that is somebody had said, you know, I tried making some yoga shirts and I tried making some beer shirts and I haven't had any luck with either. And I think Troy had said like, you know, oh, I have 50 different beer shirts up, not a single one has sold. And I think beer is kind of a saturated niche. Um, I'll give you guys a quick tip for something I did for one of my shirts, and I don't even think the design really looks that good, uh, but I managed to sell a couple of shirts, and I decided to combine two niches. So as opposed to just doing beer, and as opposed to just doing camping, I made a shirt about craft beer and camping. So there's probably some people who like beer who don't like camping, and there's probably some people who like camping who don't like beer. Um, so I am, I do have a smaller potential target audience with a shirt like that. But the good thing is by mixing those two niches, whoever is interested in beer and camping is gonna be super interested in my shirt. And you can do the same thing with a lot of other niches and things like that. If you were gonna make a Father's Day shirt, um, rather than just doing Father's Day, which everybody's gonna be trying to do, maybe you make a Father's Day shirt for doggy dads or dads who own you know, dogs. Maybe you make a Father's Day shirt for dads who are engineers. You know, you're an engineer and our dad, happy Father's Day. You know. You're gonna have a lot smaller audience, but your shirts are gonna be that much more targeted to the people who are potentially gonna wear them. So I'll just, normally I, I, you know, a lot of people don't like to share their shirts. Someone's gonna steal their design and I'm sure somebody will steal this idea, but somebody would probably steal the idea anyway. So what my shirt says is craft beer and camping makes me, or no, what is it? Craft beer and nature makes me one hoppy camper. Get it? Kind of a clever little play on words. It's hoppy as in craft beers are hoppy and hoppy is in you know sounds kind of like happy so that was the shirt craft beer craft beer in nature makes me one hoppy hoppy camper and i have some hops um kind of circling around and then have uh i forget whether it was a camper or a pop-up or a vw bug or whatever but i thought that was kind of a neat shirt um so that's just kind of my advice for you guys you know try to if, if you're struggling to break into a certain niche whether it be yoga or you know beer or nurses or whatever else try to uh try to combine two niches um try to mix up two different things and again well you will have a smaller audience your shirts are really going to appeal to that audience people are really going to relate to them so that's the uh, amazon merch tip of the day hope it helps you guys out